For several decades now, waste management has been a burning issue. Each year in France, the amount of domestic waste reaches 17 million tons. From the very beginning of our research, we realized it would be complicated to find only one solution suitable for the entire problem. Thus, we decided to focus on one specific segment, hospitals. Alone, medical establishments account for 700,000 tons of domestic waste. Healthcare facilities are already very expensive and often face funding issues. Indeed, medical equipment such as MRI machines, scanners, tools and supplies cost a lot of money. But so do nurses, doctors, midwives, caregivers and auxiliaries. Therefore, in France, a vast majority of medical institutions does not organize a sorting of domestic waste. The results of our investigation showed that big French hospitals like Robert Debré, Bichat, La Pitié Salpêtrière, Necker, Cochin, or La Riboisière do not sort their waste. Indeed, organic is not separate from plastic nor from glass, everything is thrown away in the same garbage disposal. So we asked hospital managers to finally understand the reason why. It is not that we don't want to implement selective sorting. The thing is that we lack organization and space to do so. We are hospitals. Of course, waste management is definitely not the priority. Our purpose is to cure our patients and save lives in the ER. Dealing with infectious wastes already costs a lot of money, so we cannot do everything all by ourselves. As we've seen, the hospital world is under critical funding pressure. As the domestic waste issue represents an additional cost for them, we need to come up with a viable solution. A solution to transform unproductive waste into productive resources that could represent an extra income for hospitals. A solution based on circular economy, when the waste of some can become the resources of others. The idea is pretty simple. We looked around and found examples in other fields. In the agriculture world, biodigesters can transform organic waste into fertilizer for crops and produce, or methane that can be used as a heating source. As a farmer, circular economy completely changed my life. Five years ago, I was basically broke, I thought my career was done. Then I decided not to give up and to invest in a biodigester. And thanks to this biodigester, I've been able to rebound uh, with methanization, which is the recuperation of the natural gas from fermentation. I produce 2 million kilowatts of electricity each year. I use part of this electricity to uh, heat my property and the rest I sell it to the state. I managed to create for myself an additional income from something I had been throwing away all these years. Another example of circular economy, the Paris municipality built a circular pavilion from 180 old wooden doors and only recycled materials. If we look closely, the domestic waste healthcare facilities struggle so hard to deal with could become a gold mine. Each patient accounts for 1.5 to 3 kilograms of waste every day. 75 to 90 percent of waste in healthcare establishments is domestic. This is huge, and this cannot last any longer. We need to develop a flexible, concrete, tangible solution. A solution to transform domestic waste into valuable resources, like raw materials or energy. This innovation must meet three major criteria. The financial entry ticket must be reasonable and take into account the low investment capacity of medical facilities. Second, it must not generate additional pollution. It must be sustainable and eco-friendly. Finally, the solution must be consistent with health regulations from the ARS, 
the French Regional Health Agency. Help us improve the circle of waste. With your help, our efforts today will be rewarded tomorrow.